Hey guys, what's up? It's a bit noisy outside, so please do excuse me for that. So, in the previous video, we saw how to check whether a particular control system is controllable. That is the controllability of a particular control system. So, in this video, let's see a problem as in how we can check whether a particular given control system is a controllable control system. My name is Rishi Ramju. Welcome to the Backbench Engineering Community, where I'm making it easy for you. So, let us see this particular question. Check the controllability of the following control system. Here it is given as x dash is equal to x1 x2 dash which is equal to this particular matrix into x1 x2 plus this particular matrix into u. So here the first thing that we must observe is the fact that this is of the form x dash is equal to a into x plus b into u. Where here this particular matrix is simply a and this particular matrix is simply b. So here we have the matrix A and matrix B over here. So now in the previous video, according to Kalman's test, what we saw was that we must first formulate a particular matrix QC, which is equal to B, A, B, A squared B up to A raised to N minus 1 into B, where N is nothing but the maximum order of these matrices. So here when we observe the matrix A and B, what we observe is that the maximum order value is equal to 2. So because of that, here the value of n is equal to 2. So here therefore the matrix QC becomes equal to here B. Here the value of 2 means that the maximum value is A raised to 2 minus 1 into B. That is A raised to 1 into B. That is A, B. So this is the required matrix that we need. So here we have to find the value of A, B. So A, B is nothing but the first matrix that is A which is minus 1, minus 1, 1, 0. This particular matrix into B which is 1, 0. This is equal to say the first term minus 1 into 1 which is minus 1 plus minus 1 into 0 which is 0. Therefore first term is minus 1. Now the second term 1 into 1 is 1 and 0 into 0 is 0. So this becomes 1. So minus 1, 1. So therefore we have the matrix AB. So now we can formulate QC which is given as nothing but B, A, B. So here let us take the first we have B so therefore 1, 0. Next we have A, B which is minus 1, 1. Minus 1, 1. So this is the required matrix QC. So now the next step that we have to do is that we have to find the value of the determinant of this particular matrix QC. So determinant of QC is equal to 1 into 1 which is 1 minus minus 1 into 0 which is 0 which is equal to 1. So therefore the value of the determinant of this particular matrix is not equal to 0. Therefore this is a controllable system. So therefore this particular control system represented by this particular state equation is a controllable control system. So this does is simply how you check the controllability of a particular control system using the Kalman's test. As simple as that guys. So this does is simply how you find the controllability of a particular control system using the Kalman's test. As simple as that guys, there's nothing more to it. So I hope you guys now have a clear understanding of how you can find the controllability of a particular control system using the Kalman's test. And if you guys found this video informative, please do hit the like button and join this community by hitting that subscribe button. We'll be discussing about the further topics in the upcoming videos, so stay tuned, stay subscribed. Until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thank you.